Why haven't I read uh, this comic, uh, this graphic novel, uh, before? Hello, I'm Annie and it is Thursday. It is the first Euro comic Thursday on my channel. And on every Thursday I will discuss a European comic or European graphic novel. And this time I am going to talk about The Inkal. The Inkal was written by uh, Jodorowsky and was drawn, the illustrations were drawn by Mobius. And I read the Dutch a serialized edition uh, with these uh, very, uh, very nice uh, covers by Mobius, of course. In the 1980s, uh, 1980 uh, to 1988, these uh, stories, or it's one ongoing story, uh, was published in the French magazine Metal Herland. And uh, this is also available in English, uh, and then it is bundled in uh, one uh, chunky a graphic novel so you can can enjoy it all at once this is the last one in the edition in this edition so why haven't i read <laughs> it this absolutely uh, brilliant uh, graphic novel uh, before well that's i'll keep it short <laughs> I started uh, to collect this series, Een Verhaal Van, a story uh, by. And it is a series, most uh, uh, graphic novels are uh, standalones, but uh, I, there were uh, uh, authors that I liked and collected uh, uh, very much. Uh, for example, uh, Hugo uh, Pratt. Uh, has two uh, comics, uh, graphic novels in this series. Then I thought, well, I have a couple of those, why not collect them all? So I managed to get these. But I will put the English one up there. Well, the reason why I haven't read this before is was that uh, well, it's science fiction. It is absolute brilliant science fiction. But I thought I never uh, liked science fiction. So I didn't read, uh, I didn't start to read it. But for September, for Science September, uh, where uh, that was a reading event where we read science fiction and science facts, I read a science fiction uh, novel, Transfinite Man, and I enjoyed it so much. A very, it was an excellent story. Uh, I will uh, uh, put a, a link in the description to my review of that. It was really brilliant. So I decided to give this a go. And I was reminded that I had this series by Fede over at Fede's Books. I will link his channel in the description box below. And he talked about the Metabarons. And the Metabarons is in a, storage, a different uh, story series. And it is set in the same universe as the Inkal. And so I was reminded I have the Inkal. So what the story is about? The story is about John De Fool. And he is a class B private investigator. It is really a bit difficult to explain what the story is really uh, about because um, uh, well, it's a bizarre story. 
uh, it is written by uh, Alejandro uh, Jodorowsky, who is master in uh, bizarre storytelling. Uh, I did see his film, and maybe you've seen it already, uh, also, uh, a western, uh, El Topo, from uh, 1970, I think. And it was really such a bizarre and fun western uh, to watch. The story was really, really excellent. And you don't have to mind uh, the exploding donkey and uh, all of the dead rabbits. The donkey wasn't real. I don't think... <laughs> maybe the rabbits were real because animal welfare wasn't really an issue back in the 70s uh, in the film industry. <laughs> But I think it's the best Western I have ever seen. So I was uh, already acquainted with Jodorowsky's bizarre kind of storytelling. He directed El Topo, he written it, uh, and he plays the leading man in this film. I can highly recommend it if you haven't watched it already. But back to the Inkle. There is also a bizarre kind of humor in it. Uh, there is, I, I, like I said, our hero, Johnny Fool. And uh, in the first instance, he goes along with all the things he has to do until he uh, doesn't understand why just he has to do all these uh, things. And he doesn't want to do them anymore because it's bloody dangerous. And uh, so, he doesn't do what he is told. And all kinds of bizarre things uh, start to happen, which is a really, really an excellent and entertaining story. There is a talking a concrete bird. There is an army of uh, flying uh, jellyfish in space. There is a man with the face of a dog. And then I haven't even mentioned 5% of all of the <laughs> bizarre things in this graphic novel. The drawings are uh, made by uh, Mobius. Uh, Mobius is the alias of uh, Jean Giraud. And he is a French uh, comic book artist. And in the first instance, I wasn't really uh, gravitated towards his drawing style, but reading this excellent story, this, the, the drawings and the illustrations started to grow on me. I have this uh, happen uh, multiple times already, uh, where I bought the graphic novel or comic uh, for uh, the writer and not uh, for the illustrator, the comic book artist and the illustrations uh, started to grow on me and I started to like the illustrations more and more uh, as uh, I enjoyed the story uh, very very much. I had this happen, there are a couple of uh, exceptions where I buy uh, for the artwork and that is uh, graphic novels and comics by the Italian uh, Milo uh, Manara and oh you Americans you have a brilliant comic artist uh, I started to collect uh, Wallace Wood comics uh, for uh, his excellent drawings Bernie Wrightson Wow, he can draw like nobody uh, in America can or anywhere in the world. I, I also buy his graphic novels and comics for the illustration. And often uh, they, uh, he works with excellent writers as well. So it's good to see uh, people, uh, the best of two worlds uh, at the same time. 
The story is uh, very fast paced. Uh, in the first instance, it's an adventure story, a science fiction adventure story. So that is really uh, excellent uh, to read. There is, like I said, uh, a lot of humor in it. I mentioned uh, the uh, concrete bird, the talking uh, and, and moving uh, concrete uh, bird, the flying concrete bird. <laughs> there is a techno pope uh, with a huge egg on his head. Well, that's really bizarre. But, uh, well, that that's only a few things of humorous things in it. Mobius, he really knows how to uh, depict uh, the bizarre drawings. Uh, who, uh, he does a very good job at uh, uh, bringing the story to life. I can see if I have, like here, there are some uh, flying uh, jellyfish. <laughs> um, so you can, it, it, it's really, really, really excellent. I can see if I have another bizarre or uh, sort of, there is some bizarre things uh, going on out there as well. So I'd like to know, do you collect uh, comics or graphic novels? What do you uh, collect and uh, well, do you collect them for the illustrations or uh, for uh, the stories or both? Or uh, what kind of, uh, well, graphic novels or comics uh, do you like to read? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments uh, below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't done so already because uh, it helps uh, to push this video, these types of videos uh, into the algorithm uh, uh, to more people so I can uh, share my love for this subject. Thanks for watching.